Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I don't know if you just watched, binge watched my recent video. I don't know what's going on. Basically, I can't do this anymore. So, to try not to make this intro way too long and boring and annoying, so you guys can just get watching, I guess, and I'll bore you and you click out of the video. Basically, today's look is just sitting down, playing with makeup. You could do a get ready with me and get, like, just play this in the background while you're getting ready. Essentially, that's what it's for. A get ready with me. Wow, Nicole. Brain cells. <laughs> um, yeah, I just wanted to sit down and play with makeup. I haven't used colour in such a long time, and I came up with this concoction right here. Had a bit of, like, inspiration, like, around-ish, and then I kind of, like, felt like doing this. So, yeah, it's nothing, like, too, too over the top, like wow she really went big like unicorn sfx type of thing um but yeah, i just want to sit down and do a little something play with color do something i haven't done in a really long time so yeah um please continue watching i mean you already clicked on the video so you might as well watch it <laughs> um but yeah basically just sitting down getting ready playing with makeup not much to it um if you want to know why all of a sudden i'm here why all of a sudden i'm doing this that you had no idea what like i was even on youtube there's like another video of me explaining and also putting makeup on and getting ready and telling you what the hell has happened. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for clicking on this video and please subscribe, like, you know that kind of like YouTuber thingy that you have to do. Um, but everyone like really wants to do it, so please like it and let's get started. Oh my god, this is so weird. <laughs> I love you guys, thank you. Hi guys, I'm just going to start tying my hair just getting into it. Pardon me if the audio doesn't sound as well. I am recording this um, voiceover with my AirPods. I don't have my microphone that I usually do the voiceovers with, so bear with me. I'm not at, usually at home. Anyway, I'm going to moisturize my lips with the Lano Lips um, Extremely Dry Lips Formula and then with the Lectime Concentré, or however you pronounce it, um, by Embrylise and just moisturizing all of my face. You know, g getting in there, prepping my skin. Uh, you can also use this as a primer. Um, for your skin before makeup or just as a moisturizer. Then I use the Ola Ola Henriksen um, Banana Bright Eye Cream. I love this stuff. It really brightens your under eye area and it, I, I, it makes it feel really hydrated, especially before makeup. Then I go in with my concealer and that is the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C1 or C2. I alternate between them. Depends on my mood, really. Um, and then I just start blending it into my lids and put a few dots around my eyebrows because I will do my eyebrows before my foundation as well. Um, just a tiny little bit because I will obviously put foundation on so I gotta be careful, right? So that's me just using a micro brow pencil by Morphe in the shade Chocolate Mousse. And um, I kind of just draw the line under and a little bit on top, like roughly, not too precisely, like I kind of start to stick to my own shape, my natural shape, and then fill in like little arch um, then I go in with the Morphe, um, brow, like, gel thing, I'll link it in the description box down below for all of the products I'm using and I'm just using a very very thin brush to kind of like do the tail of my brow and make sure it stands out so that it's like sharp so yeah I kind of just blend the front of my brow brush it through and then the rest of it I kind of want to leave it a little bit more sharp if you can see what I mean and then I go in with the ABH clear brow gel and I just brush my eyebrows up and using the same revolution palette that you see there i'm using one of the concealer shades and i'm just going under my brow to try to clean up any messes that i might have made anything that i might have missed to try to sharpen the front bit of my brow and yeah kind of just like dragging the concealer in that kind of shape at first to kind of go around the brow and i don't really have to get too close with the foundation or anything like that but yeah <laughs> you can see i'm just sharpening the tail of my brow right there because I tend to mess that up but anyways I'm just going to be doing like one part of my eye to speed this up so this video is not extra extra long because I do go like in depth with like my eyes <clears throat> sorry it's a lot so yeah I just speed through it or just show you one eye um 
I'm gonna be using the Morphe 35, 35, 34B um, color palette. And then as you can tell, I just started using that kind of like watermelon-y shade and just packing it on my lid first before I start blending or swiping in windshield wipe promotions or circles. Um, as you can see, that's where I started blending it right there. And it's a really nice shade of pink. Switching to this kind of more of like cantaloupe, mandarin type of shade. I try to put that a little bit higher up on my crease so it blends the pink upwards to my towards my brow. And then going in with that more like neon orange or true orange really. I put that on my outer third of my lid in kind of like a V shape towards the out, outer corner of my eye and blend it in. And then as you can tell, uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> as you can see I just grabbed those two colors and started blending them in a little bit further so I could blend the orange in and then grab my concealer and start cutting the crease. And um, if you don't know how to do cut creases, this kind of shows how I do mine, but I will do like an in-depth cut crease tutorial and like how-to series of doing like eyes and stuff, so stay tuned for that. Um, like I said, I was just using one of the Revolution concealers from the palette, and then I went in with the white in the Morphe 34B palette and just packing it on. Do not swipe when you have wet concealer, guys, please. It will make it all patchy and weird. So just pack on first and then blend. <laughs> Going in with the initial shade that I used in my crease, the very first one, um, that pinky one, I just pack it in the V shade and then kind of drag it onto the white and then bring it in a little bit messily and then blend it with that little like pink one. No, oh no, no, that pink one I put my in, in inner corner. Sorry, in my inner corner. But since it wasn't shimmery enough, I decided to go with a highlighter and it was a Wet n Wild highlighting powder. Um, just blending in with my finger, then wetting the brush a little bit more to get that intense like inner corner shebang that we want going on. Using Boohoo glitter from like the festival pack or something like that it came with, and the Too Faced glitter glue, I just do glitter liner. And the first thing I do, I just pack the glitter glue on in an eyeliner shape, more or less, and then just pack the glitter on, uh, roughly, as you can see. Then I kind of like flip my brush in an angled way to get, get the, the sharp glitter edge thing. I mean, it's not a sharp really, but, but you get the gist of this. Then I um, use a makeup wipe to remove most of the glitter and then um, we're using a spoolie. That's how I just flick everything off. If you ever have glitter on your cheek, that's the best bet you can have because it can get a bit messy. Now I'm curling my eyelashes and I'm about to apply the um, Lash Sensational Mascara, the waterproof version by Maybelline. It's my go-to mascara, the best one I've found aside from the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Um, I really like those. And then applying the 3D Silk Lashes in, in the number, I think it was 730. Um, I got these lashes at Primark and you could see that they were 550 euro or something like that, um, which in pounds would probably be either like 350 or 450, something ridiculous like that. It was ridiculously cheap. And to this day, like I got those in January. That was the very first time I used them. Um, oh no, it wasn't. It was the second time I used those lashes. I used those in, in the UK before, one time before. Um, but they're really good. I really recommend them. Going into skin now, um, I'm using the Nip and Fab Peach Primer Essence and the Baby Skin um, Pore Perfector Primer. Um, and then I just apply the first one all over my face and then the other one kind of just like on the zones where I have um, larger pores or just imperfections in a nutshell. Using the Fenty um, Beauty Foundation, sorry I spaced there for a second. Um, I think it's in the shade 140 if I'm not mistaken. I'll link it in the description box down below. I just apply it all over my face and then blend it with a sponge. It's like a boring ass process. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to apply foundation and blend it on your neck. Um, but then that's the concealer I used on my eyelids first, but I'm going to use it under my eyes as well. Um, it's the Conceal and Define Revolution Concealer and it's a really nice one. I really, really like it. Um, I take my time blending out my concealer as you can see. Try to get like right in there, right next to the um, eyeshadow, and then I put a little bit more right before going into my other creams, which is like a cream bronzer from the contour palette. And I just go and make myself a nice little bronzer head. You see here. Um, then I go into the sides of my nose to try to contour and snatch my nose a little bit more. I mean, I don't really like to contour it too much because then my nose looks a little bit weird. But I do try to slim it down a tiny, tiny bit. Like, I don't like having super, like, tall, like, noses. For me, I feel like it just doesn't suit me. Um, 
yeah, blending that with the sponge and then using the Nip and Fab, uh, what's it called? <laughs> it's a blush, it's a liquid blush in the shade Rose Gold. I, as I said, I'll link it down below if you're interested. It's really good, really affordable and it lasts you ages. Very pigmented, very blendable. They're amazing. This is also a Nip and Fab highlighter in the shade... Oh, I don't remember. Um, I'll, I'll link it down below, I'm sorry guys. Um, just blending all of that with my finger, that highlight. That This is the key point of how your makeup can stay for on for a really long time. Using This is a little trick that makeup artists use, using creams and then powders on top. So it's, it's kind of like a thin layer of both and then you get the best of both worlds. Like Hannah Montana, to say with your makeup. Um, uh, now I'm going in with the RCMA No Color Powder and then just concealing, like precisely concealing under my eyes and around the difficult areas that really need to like be squished in and make sure it's set. And then with a bigger brush like you can see here, I am just, just packing the powder on. Really boring stuff. Next, using the Makeup Obsession Give Me Some, some Sun um, Bronzer Palette. I'm going in with the shade Buff, I believe it was, um, and just contouring my cheekbones and my chin and my nose. And yeah, this is just, I use this an angled brush to contour my nose, an angled eye brush to contour my nose. Then with the shade Rays, I do my bronzer. And that's with like a big fat brush. Just go in and, like I said, creams and then powders. So then I put like, everywhere where I put the cream, I would put the bronzer. Same with the blush. I'm using BH Cosmetics Nude Palette in that pinky shade and just going over the top where I put the liquid blush. For highlight, I'm using the Becca Champagne Pop in the Mary Lubonizer by The Balm. And I'm just going in first with a Becca Champagne Pop all over those places and then just hitting the high points like right there with the uh, Mary Lubonizer. Same thing goes for my nose. First the Becca Champagne Pop and then the Lubonizer. Next, I'm using the best setting spray in the entire universe, the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And then for lips, I'm using the Kylie um, Liquid lipstick set i think it's the velvet formula charm is the shade that i use both liner and liquid lipstick for this look and i went in with both of those as you can tell <laughs> i overlined my lips a little tiny bit to make them look a little a little more even and then for my under eyes again i go in with that bright like cannery yellow and then the same orange i used on my lids and just drag it and kind of join everything together make everything marry them um I put some mascara on the bottom of my lashes and then it's done. That, that that looks basically done. Then I'm just gonna do my hair. I'm gonna straighten my hair right there. I'm just kind of like time-lapsing it for you all. Um, if you have any questions about anything, just literally comment down below and I'll answer them. I reply to all of the comments I ever get. Um, if you do decide to leave a comment. Um, but yeah, I'm just using some hair gloss right there to kind of like tame my baby hairs because, um, you know, stress hair falls out and then I have like this weird fringe baby hair situation going on so I try to tuck them under and there you could see that I forgot to put some heat protection mist so I'm using the Tony and Guy heat protection mist right there brushing it through and then going in <laughs> with um, everything else and straightening my hair my hair sorry I couldn't get to my ends there but yeah I'm just going over this really quickly I'm pretty sure all of you guys know how to like standard straighten your hair my hair is very straight anyway so it's not much of a transformation there but I'm just going in trying to flatten that all like because my hair gets a little bit poofy towards the bottom um so I kind of try to tame that so I can get a very sleek look that's what I kind of wanted to go for with this I wanted to either go for a bun or a sleek look and I ended up going for this um but yeah just going in with more hair gloss right there and just styling it how I see fit and then then I decided to apply some uh, gloss and this is a Dior lip maximizer in the shade glow to just add a little bit of something something to finish off the look and that is basically it you guys um, I hope you liked the video give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one bye